Hello everybody, this is Dream of a Back to kick off round 7 for Group C. We're going to conclude probably the most exciting group of this tournament. Right, we got this fight card to go through ladies and gentlemen, so hope you enjoy it. So you can see our main event, it is Team Argentina versus Cats. Team Argentina currently sitting outside the top 4, will need to win that match. Well, win that match and they go through. Defeat and it's all over. But before that we have got Dino Smash versus Silver Knights. Both of these two level on 16 points alongside Kaz. We can finally separate those three, hopefully, in this round. And then we have Aravgrum already out, looking to finish on a high, going up against Cayman Rider Chimera. Victory for Cayman will take them through to the last 32 round. But at first, we gotta get the uh, match that has no significance whatsoever out of the way, and that is Navan versus Mr. Ferry. Okie dokie, in the red corner for Navan, we got Allosaurus Atrox. It hasn't been the tournament I thought it would be for them this year. Well, especially compared to last year where they made that extraordinary run to the final, winning nine in a row before falling at the last hurdle against Maastrichtian. This year's been very, very different. Right, in the blue corner for Mr. Ferry, we've got a T-Rex. And, well, it's, it's, a, it's been a tough one for Mr. Ferry overall because they are out. They've been a lot of big hitters in this group and I think yeah they, they just caught up with them in the end but we'll see if which one of these guys can finish their tournament on a high and I just hope we have an epic match here and um, we don't have terrain advantages and that's a good start from Navan that's a biting win Start there. Okay, that's a tie. Ooh, but that's a big crit from the T Rex. You all know how hard it can hit. And it's got type advantage as well. This is going to be a big hit from Mr. Ferry. And just like that, both our guys getting off big crits in this match. Oh, but there's another blazing spin attack, and that will down Aloatrox and give Mr. Ferry the lead. And lag the emulator a little bit. Right, coming in next for Navan, we got Super T Rex Awaken Mode on 2. Can he give Mr. Ferry a taste of his own medicine? Boom, boom, boom. Oh, he's also got Death Fire as well if he needs it. <laughs> but yeah, it's been all about the big crit so far. Oof. Living dangerously, Navan going for rock all the time. <laughs> okay, but does get the hit that time. Oh, that's a tie. There's no heat eruption or anything like that. Ooh, and that hit does take out the T-Rex, and it saves the Awaken mode for the Alpha Iguanodon, which is about to come in next. So this could be an interesting moment of the match here, an Awakened hit from that T-Rex, particularly if it's a Net Crusher, will be lethal. But if the Iguanodon gets the hit, it will be more than likely that Deathfire will get triggered because the Rex is technically be doubled. So we'll see how this plays out. Ooh, and the T-Rex does get the next hit. Right, here we go. Awaken time. Elementor, Fujon. Oh, he gets the hit. It's, okay, he's not the biggest hit in the world, but Navan does get the hit. And wow, that was kind of weak, to be honest. Okay, the blunder effect in nullifying that net crusher. Ooh, and Mr. Ferry does get the next hit. However, the death fire has been triggered. I mean, oh, hang on. What's this? Oh, it's Nature's Blaster. That does add a bit of relevance because a not a non-crit would not have been lethal for the Iguanodon. But with the death fire, Navan could take it out. And they do get the death fire. Big hit from Navar. 
Well, if only, if only he had these big hits in the earlier matches, then it'd be an entirely different tournament for them. Right, coming in third for Mr. Fairy, we have got Paki Rhinosaurus. Well, Mr. Fairy at the minute kind of limping out of this tournament. Can they come back into it? Finish on a high. <laughs> Get another win. I mean, even though these guys are both out, it would still be a good scout for Mr. Fairy to get a win over last year's finalist. Okay, there's a crep. That, that downs the T-Rex. And we are level packet. Right, coming in third for Navarre, we got Alpha Suka Minus. Now, it's going to have tight disadvantage against our Paki Rhinosaurus, which is going to be a big problem for Navarre. And that Paki Rhinosaurus, if it gets a crit, it's going to hit really hard. However, the type advantage only applies when the Futaba Cannon is triggered. And Futaba Cannon only gets triggered after a win. Oh, well, there is that win. Super Minus getting the first strike in, but yeah, look at that. Not much damage. All of its power is in the crit. Oh, that's another hit. Okay, well, it's not a hit. It's an ACT rocket, but it'll eventually be a hit. We'll see what time it comes down. Okay, not yet. Ooh. Okay, that's a tie, and I suspect the rocket will come down any minute now. No! Ooh, Mr. Fairy gets a Thunder Bazooka off. That will put him back in the lead, although if the rocket drops, that will put Nirvan back in front. Let's find out. Okay, here it comes. Well, both our guys are going to get losing bonus points at least. Okay, that's a tie. Ooh, Paki Rhinosaurus gets the next hit. This is going down to the wire. This is actually a pretty good match. Can the Suko get a hit on the board? They do, and actually that should seal the deal. The rocket will be lethal for the Paki Rhinosaurus, so Navan will win this match. But will the rocket come down in time? That's the big question. I mean, if it comes down right away, then he's won. Let's have a look. Ooh, it hasn't. Can Mr. Fairy snatch this match? Okay, that's a tie. Oh, the Suko almost went down. Okay, there's the rocket. It does go down. And Paki Rhinosaurus drops. And it is Navan's victory. A nail-biting victory. And you know what? Given that these two guys are already out, that was a pretty good contest. Definitely better than the freaking main event in the last video. That was awful. But yeah, both of those two definitely going down in style. Right, on to our next matchup now. Okie dokie. In the red corner for a Ravgrim, we have got an Acrocanthosaurus. It's Blitz type. So it does. It will go for those two crits. So that is something Cayman's going to have to be careful. A Ravgrim already out of the tournament, looking to finish their tournament on a high. They do get terrain advantage in this matchup, courtesy of the Alpha Aranosaurus. That is something to take into account. But in the blue corner for Cayman, we have got Paki Rhinosaurus, Cayman Rider Chimera. They do need a win. A win would be enough to take them through to the knockout rounds. This group is so, so tight. So even a losing bonus point here would be beneficial to them. But we'll see how it plays out. Now, on paper, looking at the matchups this round, Cayman Rider definitely does have the easier matchup. But that doesn't necessarily mean they'll win. And that's not a good start there. That's a blitz crit right off the bat. Okay, crit number two. Okay, that is a tie. The move breaker there, nullifying that crit for the pack of Rhinosaurus. Another tie. 
Ooh, Pachyridosaurus does get the next hit. That's an electric charge, ladies and gentlemen. So we are level packing and even start so far. I think both sides feeling each other out, I think. Ooh, but a Ravgun strikes with another crit. Ooh, that's a clear sword. Is this lethal for Pachyridosaurus? I think it might be. Oh, and it does go down. Right, coming in next for Cayman Rider Chimera, we've got Omega Eelcock here. Well, a big performance from this thing, and Cayman could be surviving all the way to the last 32 round. Remember, Cayman Rider Chimera, a former semi finalist. I think they've won someone else's tournament as well. So if they do get past the group stage, I could see them having a deep run at this in this tournament. But they got a job to do first. And so far, it is a Ravgrim on top, but that's another tie. That's a good tie there, and nullifies the heat eruption that will stop Eocarcaria getting off heat eruption via ties. But if Eocarcaria does land the, the crit, and that flare sword is going to be lethal. So we are all square. Right, coming in next for a Ravgrim, we got Super Kamarasaurus. Awaken mode on three. The awakened hit could be key in this matchup. Kamarasaurus here does have type advantage over the Eocarcaria. Hmm, it'll be interesting. This thing's got ocean panic. Eocarc has heat eruption. That is something to take into account. Let's have a look what happens. It's a two. Oh, that's a tie. Oh, what we got? Oh, it's heat eruption. The Eocarc gets the heat eruption. That could be a big moment in this match. An ocean panic would have put Ravgrim back in the driving seat. But that's a very good heat eruption. Fire. Like that once. Ooh, but that's a crit from the Kamarasaurus. That's a dino swing. That's going to do some good damage. Kamarasaurus has a pretty good crit. And yeah, look at that. Ooh, that's a water sword. Which means the Kamarasaurus will get a chance at an awakened hit here. Oh, the Eocar just survived. That could be crucial. Oh, Ravgrim had the ch chance of an awakened hit on, the, on to the Spinosaurus. That could have been a big, big blow for Cayman, but they get the hit anyway. So there's no awakened hit from a Ravgrim. The Eocarp gets that hit, gets off a Flare Sword as well. That's good from Cayman. Oh. Oh, and it does take out the Kamarasaurus of Cayman. Taking a very slender lead going into the final stretch. Well, that lead's actually going to be wiped out because of uh, Alpha Ranosaurus comes in next. And it has terrain advantage. So the Eocarp is going to go down. And after everything's said and done, we are all square. This has been a very tight contest so far. Not what I was expecting. I thought Cayman would win and win well. But Ravgrim really putting up a good fight. Right, first thing first, let's get the terrain advantage over with. And yet, that is Eocarp down and dead. Right, coming in third for Cayman Rider Chimera, we have got Spinosaurus. Well, if anything can win him a match of such importance, it's this dino. Bang. But a Ravgrim really not making it easy for him. And in fact, let's not count them out. That crit of the Aranosaurus, it hits really hard. Oh, we're about to find out how hard it hits. Okay, not as much as I thought, but the Thorn Whip is going to increase the damage. That's another big hit from a Ravgrim. 
And actually, that guarantees the losing bonus point. And another crit like that, and this could be game over for Cayman Rider. Ooh, but they get a crucial crit, the big water sword. Will this be enough to secure the losing bonus? Oh, bloody hell, that was a lot of damage. <laughs> wow, that was a massive hit from Cayman, and that secures a losing bonus point at the very least. But they want so much more. But in a group this tight, that losing bonus point could be enough. They'll have to depend on other results, but this is going right down to the wire. Is it going to be a tie? Oh, Ravgrim gets the hit! Massive hit from a Ravgrim! They will take the victory. Cayman Rider will get the losing bonus point. And we'll have to wait and see if that is enough for them to go through. But at the minute, that does keep them in that top four. But they're probably going to have to hope that Team Argentina lose later. But it, at the minute, it is a Ravgrim victory. And what a way to finish off their tournament. I mean, they, they're already out, but they're going out in style. Right then. On to our third match. Okie doke. In the red corner for Dino Smash, we have got a Taurosaurus. Victory for Dino Smash, and they all but top this group. And they do get terrain advantage in this match, courtesy of the Uopus Aphelos in third. So that could be a key factor. Both of these two sitting level on 16 points. This is the match that could separate them. Well, it will separate them one way or another. In the blue corner for Silver Knights, we got a Uteractor. Victory for Silver Knights, and they will go top of this group. And I believe the winner of this group goes on to play whoever finishes fourth in Group E. So it would be a favourable matchup. Ooh, that's a crit from the Uteractor. Good start from Silver Knights. That's a free as well. It's a tie. Now remember, Taurosaurus is all about the crept. And well, speaking of crept, here comes a crept. That's a stomping hammer. Massive hit from Dino Smash coming up. I like the fact that the little wind dinosaurs tried to get up. <laughs> like, there's no escape, buddy. You've got to take your hit. Okay, it's another tie. Ooh, Silver Knights get another hit. The elemental power is maxed up. Okay, that's a tie, and that is curtains for Taurosaurus, so Silver Knights taking a slight lead. Now, as I said, Dino Smash, if they do win, they would have they have the head-to-head -head over Kaz already. So Cows would have to get a bonus point win in the main event to go above Dino Smash, should Dino Smash win this match. But anyway, coming in next for Dino Smash, we've got Omega Eel Carcaria with the sweat moves. Now the key for Silver Knights here is to make sure this Eel Carc doesn't get too many hits too early. Otherwise it will be extremely buffed and very, very difficult to take down. Oh, and that's not ideal. You, you know the deal. Attack, attack boost, defense boost, tech boost. That Eelcarcaria is going to get buffed as the Uteractor goes down. Right, coming in next for Silver Knights, we got Penticeratops. Um, again, Penticeratops has d definitely served them well in this tournament. I will say, on the topic of this group, I do feel, I do have an inkling that our tournament winner is going to come from Group C. I think a lot of the really impressive teams have been in Group C. And these are two more of them. And that's another good, that's a good crit from Pentaceratops. Guess a tie. Gotta be careful, Silver Knights. Dino Smash gets another hit with this Eel Cup. Oh, and he does, and it's a crit. That's it. 
The attack boost, the defense boost is maxed up now. This eel cock is buffed to nobody's biz nobody's end. This is not good for Silver Knights, but very good for Dino Smash, and all the more while, that Omega Bar could fill up. We could see Omega Armor in this match. Okay, Dino Smash gets a hit, but look how much little damage it does. Not much damage dealt. The Elemental Power will help counteract the defense boost that the Eel Car has, I will say that. Okay, it's a tie. But yeah, look how little damage it took during that tie. Absurd. Oh, that's a crit, and that's going to be curtains for Penticeratops. Dino Smash extending his lead. Right, coming in third for Silver Knights, we have got Spiny Tector. Well, if they get enough hits, we could see Dino Tector in this match. But we do have to bear in mind that the Euoptocephalus comes in third with terrain advantage. And that terrain hit will be a crit. So what Silver Knights can't afford to let happen is for this Spiny to get damaged too much. So we'll see how this plays out. Okay, that's a crit. That's a good hit from Silver Knights. But yeah, look how little damage it done. It might even take two more hits to kill this Eocarcarian. Oh, Eocarc gets a hit, but look how much damage this is going to do. Almost half health gone. Okay, that's a crucial hit. This is an Alpha Dice. Now, Alpha Dice is a really good move here to counter this Eocarc because... The, the damage goes through the defense boost. As you can see there, Eocarcaria bites the dust. Good shot from Silver Knights, but coming in third for Dino Smash, we've got the Euoplocephalus. It's got terrain advantage, it's gonna get off a Tail Smash. And if it gets off an Earth Barrier as well, that will put Dino Smash well in command of this match. But again, we won't count Silver Knights out yet. They got the Dino Tech. They can get to the Dino Tech that they got a real chance of winning. So yeah, first things first, let's get the terrain hit out of the way. Oh, I almost killed it! Yeah, I think, and an Earth Barrier as well. I think that is gonna be curtains for Silver Knights. A tie will do it for Dino Smash. I just don't see Silver Knights getting enough consecutive hits to win this. And nope, they don't even get the hit. It's you what the Cephalus that gets the hit. Finishing off the job for Dino Smash and taking the victory. And in doing so, going top of this group and securing a place in the last 32 round. As for Silver Knights, well, they're just going to have to wait till the conclusion of this main event and hope that Team Argentina do not win. Right, speaking of that main event... I think it's time for the main event. Okie dokie, in the red corner for Team Argentina, we got Mapusaurus. Team Argentina must win this match to stay in the tournament. Victory, and they do go through. And they'll go through as runners up to Dino Smash. Defeat, and it's all over. In the blue corner, for Kaz, we have got Joe Boria. Kaz currently sitting in the top four. And a losing bonus point in this match would be enough to take them through. So they don't even have to win. They just have to get at least something out of this match and they will go through. If they get a bonus point win, they will go above Dino Smash and top this group. Kaz, Cayman Rider, Silver Knights, all level on 16 points. I mean, I know Cat Silver Knights has the head-to-head -head over Cayman Rider. I think Cayman Rider has the head-to-head -head over Kaz. There's nothing to separate them. And if Team Argentina do win this match and Kaz doesn't get a losing bonus point, I don't know what I'm going to do. <laughs> We're going to have a bit of a problem. Um, I'll probably judge it on who and how they did in the in the like matchups overall and see if there's any differences it's gonna be really really fine margins i'm hoping that's not the case so i kind of hope kaz does win this match so i don't have to resort to that but 
So far, it is Team Argentina getting the hits. Now, Kaz does get terrain advantage in this match, courtesy of Alpha Kazmosaurus, which I think they do have. I can't remember now. I think they have it. But we'll find out later, won't we? But it's Makusaurus getting all the hits. Tight disadvantage not proving to be an issue for Team Argentina so far. Volt Burst coming in here, that's a good Volcano Burst. Jolboria really struggling to get hits. Right, there's a crit. Ooh, and they get the crit. The Magma Blast is going to finish off the Jolboria. It's kind of wasted, to be honest. But it is Team Argentina going one up. Actually, looking at the matchup, this is a pretty bad matchup for Team Argentina. But they've handled it very well so far. Makusaurus getting loads of hits. But again, all it takes is one big shot from this fairy, and the momentum back with cats. And yes, I do remember now, they got Alpha Chasmosaurus in third against Saltosaurus. So that's another good matchup there for cats. But so far, Team, Ar Team Argentina doing a really good shot job. And getting another hit! Okay, this is getting a bit ridiculous now. <laughs> A Volk Boost coming in. Ooh, okay, finally Kaz gets a hit. Haven't had one of them for a while. Badoosh. And that does down the Makusaurus. Elemental power going to activate as well. That could come in handy. Right, coming in for Team Argentina. We have got Carnotaurus. Now, this is the one matchup that uh, Team Argentina doesn't have tight disadvantage against. <laughs> bow, chee, bow. Bum, 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 bum. Dun, dun, dun. Okay, four. Ooh, Carnotaurus gets the first hit. The tie bomb's gonna come in. That could come in handy. Okay, yeah, look at that, because the secret move was triggered. Very little damage done. Oh, and in fact, the Archaeotrix charm is going to activate, getting rid of that type of healing up the fairy. Good counter from Kaz. Okay, that's a tie. Oh, that's a crit. Massive crit from the Carnotaurus. That's going to down the fairy. That could be a huge hit in this match. And Team Argentina extends their lead. But coming in third for Cas, we have got Alpha Chasmosaurus. Again, it's got terrain advantage. It's gonna get that next hit. It's gonna be a rock hit. Dum, dum, dum. And it's got the Dino Stuffer as well. So Team Argentina are gonna have to be wary of that. Actually, if they could have. No, even if they get a bonus point win, it still won't be enough to top this one. Dino Smash is way too far ahead. Six. No one, that was another hit. Kaz getting some hits in this match, fighting back. Now, the key for Team Argentina, they need to do some damage to the Chasmosaurus, and they do. Okay, so the uh, rock, rock, peak, rock, per rock effect of the Chasmosaurus is being triggered. Can it get a hit? And it does, and that's going to be a big shot. And that downs Carnotaurus. Right, coming in food for Team Argentina, we've got Saltosaurus. It's got type disadvantage. It's got a Dino Stuffer to worry about as well, so it can't even hit with a crit, even though its crit is not a water move. Although, it's got a Dino Stuffer of its own as well. <laughs> But yeah, you feel, even though the Chasmosaurus took damage, Kaz has the upper hand now. See what happens. Okay, there's another hit. Okay, that's not too bad. And remember, if Kaz secures a losing bonus point here, that'll be enough to take them through. Okay, there's a hit, but... Yeah, look at that. Very feeble damage from the Saltosaurus. Like, how many of those are you going to get before Kaz gets another hit? Well, there's another one. 
too. Oh, it's going to be a big hit. The type of vantage are going to increase the damage. The rock, rock effect. Look at that. Okay, Aqua Vortex has been triggered. That does... Okay, what is this? Electric charge. Okay, that Aqua Vortex does make things a little bit interesting. It'll stop Kaz from winning via the tie, which I think he could. Okay. Oh, and they get the Aqua Vortex. Okay, this could be huge for Team Argentina. The Aqua Vortex is going to remove all of Kazmosaurus' moves. It's going to get rid of the Dino Stuffer. It's going to get rid of the Lightning moves. It's going to stop the Kazmosaurus from having type advantage. This could be huge for Team Argentina. And they get another hit. And he friggin' killed it! Team Argentina, on the brink of the exit, has pulled off the win against Kaz. And we will go through to the last 32 round. Kaz will also go through because they got the losing bonus point. And well, we're going to have to have a look at the table to see who has bowed out. But what an ending. That Aqua Vortex proving huge. Well, that is the table, ladies and gentlemen. Dino Smash topping it with 19 points. In fact, I think this group has had more bonus points awarded than any other group. And it's by some distance at the minute. Of course, that can all change. But yeah, Dino Smash topping at 19 points. Team Argentina going second by virtue of the head-to-head -head over Kaz, who sits in third with those five bonus points proving crucial because of this scenario. And yes, Silver Knights sneaks through by the skin of his teeth by virtue of the head-to-head -head they have over Cayman Rider Chimera, who does bow out. That defeat against the Ravgrim proving very costly, even though they got a losing bonus point. And they do go out to the group stage, and to be honest, very, very unlucky to be going out. 16 points. And then, as opposed to me, who got through with 10 points. <laughs> but, yeah. That is so, so... That is a big, big pill to swallow, but they gotta swallow it. Silver Knight sneaking... Damn it. Silver Knight sneaking through. Navan. Finishing strong in this tournament. But obviously the damage was done early on. On 9 points. Mr. Ferry also on 9. And then a Ravgrim sitting at the bottom on 6. You'd probably, fa you'd probably say all 4 of these guys would be favourites going into their respective matchups in the knockout rounds. Speaking of, let's have a look at them. So yeah, you could see Silver Knights here going up against whoever wins Group G. Which looks most likely to be futuristic. But it could be Drogon. But again, even though Silver Knights finished 4th in Group C, they've been so, so impressive. You would fancy them against whoever they get. And then, well, <laughs> another brute thrown to the right side of the draw in Dino Smash. Going up against whoever finishes 4th in Group E. And to be honest, you would probably say Dino Smash is going to be a strong favourite in that matchup. And we could see a quarter-final between Maastrician and Dino Smash. The, this side of the draw is getting really, really intense. Then you've got Team Argentina down here. Going to take on whoever finishes third in Group D, which could be anybody, let's be honest. That group is still very undecided. And then we have Kaz finishing third in Group C, going up against whoever finishes runner-up in Group F, which, as it stands, is Blood Moon. But it could be Dino Hunter, but again... You would probably say all four of these guys will be slight will be favourites going into their matches. I would probably say definitely Dino Smash. Probably Team Argentina as well. And Kaz. I think the only, the more 50-50 one will be Silver Knights again. Because Futuristic has been really strong and Drogon has obviously always been strong in talk. But yeah, that's gonna end this session here. So I hope you enjoyed. And until next time, ta-ta! Mm -hmm.